All right, what are we doing today? This week, this month, however long this project takes us. Hey. What are you doing, Bubba? Bubba. Anyways, what are we doing today? We've got our almighty spare tire here, which obviously will not fit where the original tire would. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Yeah, it doesn't look like it would. This is a 32 inch full size tire, same size as the tires that are on the Jeep. It's obviously our original Jeep rim. It does not match the other rims. It'd be cool if it did, but it doesn't. So what are we gonna do with this bad boy? Right now it's riding in the back of the Jeep riding around loosely okay so what are our options options option number one build a roof rack and put it on top that's going to create a higher center of gravity not that big of a deal with this size tire probably it's going to create more wind drag um, and to get it you got to get on the roof and get it okay option number two build some sort of tire carrier outside of the vehicle. In order to do that, you've either got to create some sort of swinging mechanism so that you can open your lift gate, or you've got to actually mount this to the lift gate. That increases the weight of the lift gate. Uh, more than likely have to get stronger struts. They do sell them. People have mounted them there, and you got to give it a little oomph to get it up. Option number three, which the option I'm going to go with, is going to be mounting it on the inside, back here in the trunk. The cons with that is it does take up space, okay? It does take up valuable space. All right. I've actually built a tire carrier on the inside of someone's, we'll call it trunk space. Um, some of the old Broncos... The tire mounted in the trunk and I had a friend that had an older Bronco and he wanted his tire to mount in the trunk so I built him a tire carrier similar to the stock factory ones so essentially I'm gonna do the same same sort of thing it's gonna be a little bit different back here in the back and where I'm going to put this Essentially, I picked the side, okay? My fat butt sits on the driver's side. Not that it's that big of a deal. I decided I'm gonna kind of try to balance out some of the weight. So I'm gonna mount this tire on the passenger side. And it's gonna go somewhere in here, essentially. We are going to build some sort of mounting system for it right here. Let me get a little bit closer up look. So here we are. Essentially, what I want to accomplish is getting this over as far as possible on the passenger side. I want to mount it in there close over this way as we can. Yet at the same time, I've got to get it up off the ground a little bit so that I can still pull this floor up and get the stuff we need on the inside. We've got a bunch of stuff on the inside, a bunch of cool stuff. Let me pull the tire out. We want to be able to access stuff. Got jumper cables, a pull strap, um, tire kit, tools, 
some extra oil. I've got my uh, uh, air compressor. We had that air compressor for the camper when we were living in the camper. So that's going to go in here. What are we going to use for jacks, you say? So high lift jacks or farm jacks are cool, tactical, nifty, awesome looking, make everybody think you're an off-roader. And we may eventually get one of those. Okay, they're handy. But realistically, they take up a lot of space. I'm going to have to make some kind of mount for it anyways. So we're going budget-minded here. That means not buying a bunch of new stuff, even though we may buy some new stuff here in the video. Keep an eye out for that. I'm going to go with what I've already got. I already had two bottle jacks. These are 8-ton. You'd probably want to go... Some people go with 12 ton, but this will do the trick, I'm sure. I'm going to use one of these. I have two of them. We use them for moving ship container around and etc. etc. So I'm going to take one of these and I may incorporate this into the tire carrier system somehow. So it's not rolling around, flumping around, etc. etc. We do want that tire to be secure. Um, there's multiple ways you can do that. We can either use lug nuts style something that uses the lug nuts uh, like we did on the truck like we did on project sin if you want to watch that video this i think i'm gonna actually go the easy way i think i'm gonna use ratchet strap modified ratchet strap build my carrier and ratchet strap the tire into it okay simple keep it simple stupid okay um, I don't plan on going on over 32 inch tires ever on this vehicle. I think 32 inches are more than adequate for my needs. Everyday driver slash, you know, we may go want to go down some trails, backwoods trails, but uh, 32 inch, I think, I don't think I'm going to go over 32 inches ever. If you got a 35 inch tire, or bigger it's probably not gonna fit back here like this it's probably gonna be too tall okay what else what else we got blue cheese okay budget we're using material I already have what are we gonna use I'm going to use some more Unistrut I'm going to use Unistrut to try to build this okay I've got a bunch of it left over um, bought it to build something else and I never built it so I've got a few sticks of Unistrut we're gonna use Unistrut for those of you that don't know Unistrut is used kind of like an industrial thing a lot of electricians use it for mountain conduit etc etc uh, really modular system it's got a lot of slots let me try to get a piece of Unistrut Alright, here is a piece of Unistrut. They make it wider. They make it about twice as wide as that. We're using the thinner stuff. It's got these slots in it. And it's got this handy dandy channel in it. So it's very modular. That is what we're going to be using to make our tire carrier. And essentially what I am thinking about doing is building, we'll call it a cage call it a cage here building some kind of cage over here for this tire to go in and then ratchet strap it down have some kind of holder for the bottle jack and as I said it's got to come up a little bit just a hair so we can open our floor still and get to those goodies I realize I'm rambling on and on and on here so we've got to essentially figure out a way to mount this cage to this floor. I see these factory uh, uh, storage hooks of some sort. We may incorporate that somehow into it. Over here is where the CD player used to go. We may 
figure out a way to mount this cage over here. Anyways, let's get some work done. I'm going to start by building the cage to fit the tire. Alright, let me show you where we're at, what I've done so far. Remember those tie down hooks? We'll call them tie down hooks. There's one there. There's one there. Well, there was one there. And there was one there. I drilled those out. They were riveted through. I drilled those out. These two, you can see to the bottom. I can get nuts on those. Not quite sure on these yet. Um, I might have to. Uh, tech screw those through when we get done but we've got a piece of unistrut that follows that wheel well straight out plan is going to be to make a side here and to make a side here that comes straight up for that wheel to nestle in and then I'm going to have to build some kind of lip here in the middle build a lip that hangs over for that wheel to set on so that we can lift this up enough to get it out. All right, that's the plan. That's what we're looking like. All right, let me show you what we got, what we're looking like. All right, this is the start. What we're going to attempt to do next, those bolts right there, is where the um, CD player, 10 disc CD player used to hook. I wanna take a piece of this Unistrut, run it from one bolt to the next, and then we will tie that into this bracket that will keep this thing from going over like so. I think that is the next step in the Unistrut tire carrier. All right, we got the gist of this done. I'm gonna come back and put some gussets. Let me show you how we plan on attaching this. We went to Harbor Freight, picked up these D-ring anchors. Got those for, um, guy hooked me up. I had a 30% uh, discount on anything under $20 on one item. He actually gave me the discount on all the items I bought. But anyway, so I got these D-ring anchors for $2.09. And this is, went and bought a ratchet strap. This ratchet strap cost me $4.89. It is a 
heavy duty ratcheting tie down strap width inch and a half and it's 10 foot. I'll probably end up cutting it down to fit just the tire, okay? So we got this, I'm gonna put a D-ring here. I put this little gusset here, I'm gonna attach a D-ring here and it's gonna go, the strap's gonna go around and then a slight angle up and I'll attach the other D-ring over on the other side to where we can strap that tire in, okay? Okay. All right, here we are. All welded up. I gotta come back and clean it all up. Brush it out, grind it. We did use flux core, so that means more cleanup. And this is galvanized. Be sure not to breathe this in while you're welding because galvanized is poisonous. Okay, so we gotta clean it up, brush it out, paint it up, install it. Here's our mounting rings. One there, another one's over here. Those are welded in. Clean the corners, no sharp edges. Here's what we used to weld. The uh, Harbor Freight Titanium MIG 170. Flux core, 035 wire, 220 power. Right, there's the final product installed. All we gotta do is mount the tire and install the ratchet strap. Got those two, used to be the CD changer. Got those holding the side there. Tires in, strap is in. It's a snug fit. Deck lid does close. It's a little bit tight, just a little bit tight. But I think once we get this trim in, get our headliner back in and get this trim in, this will push the tire over just slightly this way. And I think it'll close a little better. Also, what was it we were wanting to accomplish? Wanted to get the tire out, or we wanted to be able to get this out. So we can still get this out. We can still get to our tools. I was going to incorporate the jack somewhere into the carrier. I decided not to right now. It's just going to go under here for now. As long as we can get to it. Okay. I said we were going to do something tactical. I think we're going to save that for another video. I will show you what I'm talking about though. First off. First off, no vehicle would be tactical, complete, without a hatchet and a shovel. 
this is an overlanding slash off-road vehicle. You gotta have a shovel and a hatchet, right? So I'm thinking over here somewhere. And over here somewhere. We mount this using Unistrut. We're gonna build us a Unistrut system over here. But wait, there's more. gotta have bump in your ride so let's take the speaker we made for a different ride and let's mount it over here too this thing's kind of heavy put it somewhere over here using that unit strut cool huh but we will save that for another video. Tire mount, done. Inside tire mount, done. Right? Thanks for watching.